All right, guys, so it's Friday night. It's been a long week, that's for sure. I know I was kind of out of it this whole week. Can you believe that Monday was Labor Day game day? Wow. It seems like forever ago that we were at Emily and Wells and playing games. Like, we played Viral this week. You played Photosynthesis. I played Letter Tycoon. Can I just for a second say that Letter Tycoon is a fabulous game? I don't believe that. I really liked it. I'm usually really bad at word games, like Scrabble is not my friend. We found that, what is it called, paperback? Which I feel like is the same thing as Letter Tycoon. No, it is so not. I don't know. I was excellent at Letter Tycoon and terrible. <laughs> Wait, so just because you were good at a game means it was different? Yeah. You should play paperback again. Okay, we're going to play, we're going to have a rematch of paperback. Maybe I was, so we took paperback on our cruise, what, two years ago? Yeah, a year ago. Okay, a year ago. Two cruises ago. Whatever. And Eric trounced me. Every game we played, it was like, I didn't know how to spell. It was like, I didn't understand how words went together. Maybe you just played that last game with people who couldn't, who no, spelled worse not, than you. That's not true. I was coming up with awesome, like, six letter words. Whereas when we played, it was like, bed, cat. Yeah. Dog. I'm not a fan of spelling games. But anyway, uh, I really liked Letter Tycoon, so many thanks to our friend Andrew who brought it. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I would add it to the list of games that we should have because it's a gateway game. It's a game that I will not buy. Okay, maybe I'll buy it then. <laughs> That's fair. Shocking! Oh my god, because I never buy games for me. We always buy games either for you or for us that's true that is very true so letter tycoon may be on my christmas list guys i really enjoyed it um and i do think it's a gateway game because it's similar enough to scrabble that people who haven't played games will understand it and pick it up pretty quickly but there is a really nice level of strategy involved in it where you actually have to think about the choices that you're making that makes it a little bit more advanced it's kind of in the same vein at least in my mind as splendor of like next step up not too challenging, easy to teach to people, very straightforward. Will we play paperback again before you sure. get that game? We can play it whenever you want. Apparently I have to let her win and then we won't buy Letter Tycoon. Don't let me win. That's not fun. It's not fun at all. We'll see. Don't be like that. Um, so, speaking of games, uh, I know that we've been promising the D&D game forever it feels like forever it, it's been two this weeks. is week two two weeks so i got home from work friday afternoon and i spent three hours two and a half hours editing this afternoon to try to finish it which means what i couldn't play overwatch he was very upset what did you play instead event her no no horizon horizon zero dawn. zero dawn um i got it day one Never played it. I don't know why. Something happened. Something happened, and I didn't play it. Maybe because then I got Overwatch. I don't Possible. know. Something came out. The Switch came out right mm -hmm. after Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm -hmm. So, never played it. Okay. And I'm playing it now. And? I'm liking it. Yeah, you're going to surprise the PlayStation up more often? It's surprisingly pretty entertaining. The reason why I'm playing that is because I really want to play Destiny 2, but... He's going to wait so he can have it on PC. So he's he's being very patient, guys. We should all applaud him. No, no, A round of applause don't for applaud Eric. Me. Don't for applaud having me. patience. No, 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 no. this man literally has zero. You know why you should He has negative patience. You know why you should not applaud me? Why? Because I... You secretly bought Destiny and you're playing it at night when I'm sleeping. I'm playing it all the time. No, I looked up to see if it was possible to purchase it for the Xbox or the PlayStation and see if it would have saved my character, allowing me to play on the PC, and you can't. If that option was there, yeah. I would have purchased it on one of those consoles and then hoped that my character would have transferred over what to the What am I going to do with him, guys? FOMO's a real thing. And, I, you, know, I, you, know what, you know what it is? The game coming out is kind of hurting me that I don't have it. Mm -hmm. But also <clears throat> the fact that they're like, next week will be the first raid. And then there's going to be this. 
and it's gonna be that. And it's like, but what about PC players? We don't get it to the end of October. Welcome to being a second class citizen. It's no, I just that's not that's not it at all. It's just I'm an early adopter, and it pains him physically. <laughs> Speaking of FOMO, uh, we have a friend who is at Hascon right now. This oh, weekend. right. I never heard of Hascon. Hascon. That's what I said. Okay. Never heard of it. Never mind. He doesn't know anything. You know what it is? Yeah. You've heard of it before? I looked it up. Oh, I that's it. You, you just came no, off. No, and then I saw, Hold on. I saw just a bajillion off. people posting about it on Twitter today, and I was like, wait, there's this, and there's this, and there's this, and there's this. You know, and there's I a bajillion Andrew. people when you look up has I didn't look it up. It was just in my feed, and I texted Andrew, and I told him I had FOMO. So wait, is is that Hasbro con? Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound interesting. Okay, there's a D and D room though. I mean, I feel like you can get them in anything. Okay. Anyway, not what we're talking about today. What we are trying to talk about is I want to get the new Millennium Falcon Lego set, which is something like fourteen hundred pieces. Maybe it's fifteen. Maybe it's eighteen. But we are in. Over a thousand pieces. Okay. And I want it, and it's eight hundred dollars, and I don't think I'm gonna get it. Add it to your Christmas list if you really want it that badly. If I get that, there was a sense. There's gonna be need to be a ranking of does does Millennium Falcon come before Warhammer? There is no Santa Claus, kids. That's just what it sounds like. Like I, I want them all. No. Thankfully, I have a job, so I can get things. But we'll see what happens. I'm assuming with that look that you gave me, we weren't scheduled to talk about the Lego Millennium Falcon. Is no, that right? that was not what I was planning on talking about today. But the Lego Millennium Falcon looks amazing. You should definitely look it up. Uh, it's great. It does look very cool. It's really cool. Not very cool. It's extremely cool. It is the pinnacle of cool, if you will. But okay, okay, go ahead. What do you have to talk about? Is it better than the Imperial Star Destroyer? Yes, yes it is. Because yes. it's the, the Millennium Falcon. It's the Millennium Falcon. Okay. It is the largest Lego set that they have ever made. Really? It's bigger than the Star Destroyer? It's bigger than the... the, the it's the bigger Death than Star? the last Lego. The, the, the Death Star isn't like a big set. No, but the, the Star Destroyer is. It's no, no. The, I want to look it up now. Look it up. And if you're wrong, right you should buy nope. that for no, me. No, 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 no. That wasn't actually birthday, a thing that I said. Which, by the Not way, is December 9th. It's right around the corner. Not a thing I said. I feel like the internet heard you say that. No. Back me up, internet. No, no, no. She should That's get it. That's not what you I'm heard. I'm my birthday. Because it's not what I said. All right, can we get to what you were talking about, <laughs> anyway. which is not as interesting as the Star Wars Lego set. Largest set they've ever made. Go on. I'm anyway, gonna, I'm gonna so have a beverage. back to D&D. &D. Oh, here we go with D&D. &D. Uh, I finished editing the first session. And I am splitting it in half, and there will be two parts posted oh. on YouTube soon. That's not a real time. When I say soon, what is I that mean, time frame? I mean it is exporting. However, the, the soon is kind of like saying the eventually. file. The file size for the first part is 50 gigs. 50 gigs. The the quality is not even that nice. It's not even like 4K. It's over five hours long. Oh, five hours. So be prepared. Then we're gonna five watch hours. Five hours. I have no idea. I don't do watch. Probably not. No. But if you do, you're amazing. Also, there's some pretty funny bits in there. But does it need to be watched? Could they listen? Not yet. I haven't edited. No. This what sound. I mean was, could they put it on in the background? Yes. And go sure. clean, or what? maybe put a Lego Millennium Falcon together. If you, is it like a good thing, like while you're building the yes. Lego Millennium Falcon sure. to listen to it? Yes. All right. So Maybe I should get you, one if you, and I can... No, you, you played it, so you don't need to listen to it again. You were there, so you're good. Don't worry about it. What I was gonna say is, is if you have YouTube Red, you know that you can close the app on your phone and it'll still play and you can listen to it like a podcast. Is YouTube Red like a real thing? I mean, it's a real thing. 
But I mean, do people know, really have it? Today, guys. Do I'm people really, really have sorry. YouTube? Is it taking off? Is I it like love a it thing? because it means I can watch when I don't have connection, which is when I'm on the train to Brooklyn. To so it. that's why you have YouTube Red strictly. Oh my to god! Download. It was because it was to download because we were traveling a bunch this summer because I wanted to be able to watch things when we didn't have any internet connection. And then I realized, wait, that also works when I'm on the train to Brooklyn back and forth for an hour one way and an hour back twice once a week. If you have YouTube Red, let let us know below. I don't think many people. Have I it. I think it's worth a subscription. I'm gonna say. No more than 10 people have. I don't care if you have. And if I'm right, I'm, I'm going to get myself of, the Lego Star the Wars Millennium Falcon. No. So no. if there are 11 people that say they have it, the 11th person don't comment. Because then I'll lose. So. <laughs> <coughs> He's killing me, literally. Um, so, anyway. Depending on how long it takes to export and how long it takes to upload, I would love to get it up on Saturday if, oh. so you guys could watch part one if wait, you want to start watching it. Won't this be posted on Saturday? Yes, you would get two videos on Saturday. But one is five hour long. Yeah, so that's lots of extra watching time. It's really long. It's very long and you don't see my face in it. <laughs> but you see the back of your head, it's very yeah, red. Yeah, my head is it's pink. Very red. pink. Can we give people a preview of what they're going to see? No. Um, sure. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and that smiling mug with that. With oh, a I mean, oh, I mean, I'm sorry. He's literally all you see. No, the, you see other people. You see there's other a people. whole, there's a whole part. I'm wearing a fez. I leave a lot because Dexter had an upset stomach, so I constantly and leave Caroline the campaign. Stole your fez. And then my fez gets stolen. It has nothing to do with the campaign. The fez is totally separate. The Fez is part of who I am when I board game now, especially when I D&D. &D. So anyway, so I'm hoping you that I... I should wear the Fez while I'm pulling the Millennium Falcon together? The Lego one that I'm talking about. The one that has the most pieces. So anyway, guys. Um, hopefully that will go up on Saturday. If not, then it'll be up on Saturday. When will part two be up? Uh, next weekend. Oh. So it gives people enough time to get through five hours. I don't expect anyone to sit down and watch it through no straight. Watch it. I mean, thanks for trying. If you really feel like it, do it. I know people have been asking for it, so I'm putting it up there. And there, if we end up getting all time 30 views, I will be thoroughly impressed. Now, hold on. 30 views, will you then, because if you post videos on YouTube, you can drill No, I mean in. like all the way through. No one's going to do that. But because once again, you can drill into YouTube and say, how long has someone watched this video? So somebody, 10 people have to. 30. 30. For it to be like a real thing. That's not. Gonna it's not going to happen. It'll be three. It's years. not a knock at you guys. No, no, no. It's just a long video. We're not critical role. No. Nobody wants to see five hours. Although like there's some good accents in there. I mean, there's two accents, and one of them is, is... No, no, he does a good job in part one. Okay. It's before he forgets his accent. Yeah, someone forgets their accent. It's okay. Anyway, this was basically a vlog by Eric, so... This was a vlog by me? Yeah. Before we turned this camera on, Emma was like, let's just wing it and see what happens. I said, if you don't know what you want to talk about, I'd be happy to take the lead, just follow what I'm doing. Then we see what happens. This is what happens when you don't plan, I guess. That or you give your husband free reign. One or the other. Lego money I'm talking. Anywho, I think that's going to be it for us today, guys. Um, I hope everyone had a fantastic week. I'm really glad to be feeling better, besides my ridiculous cough. Um, he's probably not glad that I'm feeling better. Hey, we have a social Sunday on Sunday. Do we really? Yeah. Wow! We get to hang out with you guys on Sunday. I'll answer all your questions. I, I'm, He's just going to keep asking for a Millennium Falcon. Hold on. Also, Sunday, I have to run 15 to 18 miles. I have to do a three-hour run before our social Sunday. Yes. Yeah, so Eric will be running. He's thinking currently that he's going to take the train to Brooklyn and run home from Brooklyn, which should be interesting. A nice change, because usually he runs to Brooklyn and then takes the train home. I might still run to Brooklyn, so coming long. about the weather. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> but that is in a couple of days. We will hopefully see you on Social Sunday. If you want to talk 1 about... 1 p.m. Eastern. 
If you want to talk about the Lego Millennium Falcon, I'm here for you. Let's talk about it. Emma will put this face on. Actually, I'll be kind of nice about it. He's just being annoying right now. I don't mind Legos. But how do you feel about the Lego Millennium Falcon? It looks cool. Which has the most pieces ever. It looks cool. We'll see what happens. No promises. Maybe if we get 1,300 subscribers, we'll get the Lego Millennium. 1,300? What, what? Where, where are we at? Like 1,200? 12, like 20 something. If we get 1230. I don't know. No, will... no, that is not a real thing. This is not a real thing. All right, I'm gonna cut this off now. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a up for social Sunday, because this is going up on Saturday. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, day, Bye. goodbye. Bye guys. I'm gonna shut him up now.